Hey, so I recently had this task where I had to upload a file and read the contents of that file, but on the browser side. And there's a browser API we use for that, which is pretty cool. So how it's meant to work is we just have a form with a file upload button. And when you upload that file, you're gonna extract the text and then display it inside of this box. So in the HTML, you can see here is our input of type file and I've just added an on change handler. Um, you can see it over here, this function handle change event. It's gonna receive this event. So let's first have a look at what's inside of that event. I'm gonna add a breakpoint here and let's just run this in the VS debugger. So there's my breakpoint and I'm just gonna choose a file. I have a random text file and it's uploaded. The code is paused at my breakpoint and over here we can see what's inside of this event. So what I'm trying to find is can I get the data of that file? If I go to event.target and if I have a look here, we've just got some random string of a fake path to that file. So that's not very helpful. So there it is, it's a list. Anything in JavaScript that's a list is an array and we've only got one item in that array and this is our file. So, you know, we've got some information about that file already, which is pretty useful. What's not there is the content. I can't see what's inside of that file, but I can use some of these properties for a bit of validation. So let's, in my function, just say const file equals, it's gonna be event.target.files, and I'm gonna grab the first thing. You might wanna check that there is actually a file in that array, uh, because maybe there's not. So a, a little if statement there could be pretty useful. What I'm gonna do is check that the file content, if file dot, file dot type does not equal to text plane, so this is the type text plane, then I'm gonna alert, put some sort of validation error message on the screen, and most importantly, return, exit the function so that we no longer continue with the rest of the logic. The next step is to try and get that actual content. As we can see, it's not there. We need to use a browser API. If we have a look in our global scope and we see what is inside of that big global object with all of those properties that are available for us, we have file reader. It's a function, so it's an API that we have. And in the prototype, we can see there's a whole bunch of stuff that could be useful on load handlers, on error handlers. And then these other methods, read as array buffer, read as binary string. I guess the one that would be most useful for us is read as text. Since this is a function and it is a constructor fun function with a capital F, what we're gonna do is just create a reader. So const reader equals new file reader. And I'm gonna call that method reader.read as text. There we go, and add in the file. This is an asynchronous method. So I'm not gonna be able to save the result to a variable. What I need to do is use one of the handlers, specifically the onload handler. So reader dot onload, and then this is going to be assigned to a function, which is gonna receive an event, and that event is going to have a target, and inside of the target, we can see the result. Let's add a breakpoint and check that we are actually able to do that. So I'm gonna add a breakpoint there and run this again. So if I upload that file again, we can see it's paused on this content where I have e.target result. If I look in this window now, let's have a look e.target.result. Here is some text saved in the file. So the next step in this task was to take that content and insert it into the DOM. In my HTML, I've added a div here with an ID of content. So over here, document.getElementById, text. That is a DOM method I can use to set the content, which is this string over here. You might wanna do some extra validation there, check that it's a string, check that there are no security risks with that content and you can go ahead and do what you want with it. So let's finish this, step out of the function, and here is the text. Insert it into the file. A very cool and easy to use API. Why not try it out in one of your projects?